Hello once again, YouTube. Good evening to you, or morning, or night, depending on when you're watching this. Um, got a really cool item to show you today, something that I just received in the mail. I'm super excited about it. Got a pretty good deal on it. Almost got a screaming good deal. Uh, and what it is, is the Konami Hyperboy. It's RU005, right? Let me make sure I got that right. RU005 is the model number on this. Now, prior to me stumbling upon this, I actually had never heard of the Konami Hyperboy, or RU005. Um, and I wasn't going looking for it. I was on eBay. I was actually looking for this, the original Game Boy carrying case. Now, there's a ton that they make, but this is the one that I had uh, as a kid. It was the one I had back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, growing up. Um, and mine has, you know, since, of course, disappeared uh, into the uh, annals of time. Uh, but I, I wanted to find myself one of these cases. And there, there's so many uh, Nintendo Game Boy cases that they made. Uh, you start looking, and I only found a handful like this. But it was being sold uh, as part of an auction. I'll find the auction, put it up here somewhere, and kind of show you. But it was being sold... Uh, along with this. And the seller had only identified this as a Konami RU005. Never called it a Hyperboy. Um, and I didn't know what it was at all. And I didn't know it was this big. This thing's a monster. Um, but I started researching it, so I, I put in RU005 to see what other people were selling. Because at the time, when I looked at this auction, uh, I think it was only like 20 bucks. It was pretty low. It wasn't a lot of money. Um, and I really, like I said, just really wanted this. But it came with another screen as well, screen magnifier, uh, and this Konami RU005 that I later came to find out was called the Hyperboy. Um, but I put that in, I searched it up, and there was only a handful even being offered, and that's where I learned the term Hyperboy. Um, and they were about 200 bucks a piece. Uh, and some were quite a bit more, especially if they came with a box and, and that sort of thing. And I'll show you, of course, what it does. Uh, and I ended up spending close to that, but I got the case uh, that I wanted, and I was willing to spend around 20 for this, because that's about what they were going for. So um, I'll show you exactly what I spent, uh, and it only happened in the last few seconds, like sometimes eBay auctions uh, do. It was almost, like I said, almost got it for uh, my opening bid, but I had actually bid, um, it didn't, it, obviously I didn't get outbid, it didn't even get up to my high bid, because once I did, discovered what this was, what it was worth, um, I wanted to make sure uh, that it became mine, at least for the short term. Now, how long I'll decide to keep it, how long my wife will let me keep it, uh, remains to be seen. Um, but I want to show you some close-ups of it, what it can do, uh, and just how darn cool it is. So let's get to that part of the video. All right, and so what it is, basically, is you take your Game Boy, and you insert it into this machine which basically converts it into an arcade and it is quite heavy it takes two D batteries um, and D batteries are expensive now I, I went to Walmart and got a four pack cost me over four bucks uh, but anyway the headset thing there's a place where that plugs in and that will play the sound uh, through the Hyperboy through these speakers on the side um, and there's also a built-in light and magnifier that's going to light up your screen, and I'll get a better shot of that and show you the gameplay in action. But you put this in there, you pop in your 2D batteries, uh, and these buttons basically push the buttons on your Game Boy. Select Start, uh, obviously your control stick, and then your B and your A. Um, pretty rad. Let's see it in action. I've got my four AA batteries in the Game Boy, my two D batteries in the Hyper Boy, Let's turn them both on. Hopefully you'll be able to see this and hear it. Look how cool that is. So I have my 32 in one in here. And we're going to show you some Super Mario World. Now this obviously is not going to pick it up great. It's a little hard for me to play because this thing is a monster to try to hold it at an angle and play it. But you get the idea just how darn cool that is. And see, I'm just pushing the buttons on the arcade style machine. And you could put this on a tabletop. Obviously, that's what it's designed for. Oh, I'm going to die. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you get the gist of that. 
and you can hear the sound coming through there and it magnifies it so if you turn this off then you just get the magnified there's no light obviously it's almost impossible to see but you could still play it because the buttons don't require any kind of power tested that out before I went and blew four bucks on D batteries but obviously it's much cooler with the light in it and everything so let me get it centered a little bit better here you know this is far from perfect but I wanted you to at least see it in action I just think it's so darn cool okay let me pause get out of this here okay, so I went back to the auction to just double check I actually did a little better than I thought I thought I was closer to the 200 mark uh, but with tax, shipping, and everything, I ended up paying $179.02. Uh, like I said, came with the case, so knocked 20 bucks off right there because I would have paid 20 bucks for the case. Uh, so I'm getting the Hyperboy for $159 ish, and minus the cost of the other little screen magnifier. I don't remember where I put it, and it just came today. <laughs> but uh, just slips down over the Game Boy magnifies the screen. I haven't tried it out. Um, but then, you know, a couple bucks there, easy as well. Probably 10 to, I think those tend to go for at least another $10. So. Uh, to my in my mind to my mathematics here, um, so I paid 150 149 for the hyperboy and you're just probably aren't going to beat that. I'll see if I can get uh, some pictures up here. But it was at the tail end uh, that some other savvy shopper was waiting to try to snipe uh, it from me. Um, obviously, at least one other person knew uh, what it was. But uh, let me get. Uh, I was going to show you on my phone the pictures of the auction. Maybe easier if I just get some screenshots and, and put them up behind me, um, probably, or at least a little bit easier to see. Uh, but that's how it was listed. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. Um, but it just says Vintage Game Boy Accessories Lot, Konami RU005, Newbie Screen, uh, and Game Boy Case. And it has eight pictures on there. I still, even with the pictures, I had no idea what a monster <laughs> this machine was. But uh, seller, obviously... Should have done a little bit of research. I'm glad, in a way, for them, <laughs> for their sake, that it did go up past, uh, you know, the 20 something that it started at, uh, at, at, at an additional cost to me, of course. But uh, I, I would have almost felt bad, uh, not ripping the seller off. I mean, that's on them, right, for not doing the research. But uh, man, this thing is stinking cool. Super heavy, <laughs> though. I mean, you're not going to take this. Uh, you know, the whole idea uh, behind the Game Boy was its portability. The whole reason I wanted. Uh, the case was, you know, so I could be cool and put it on my belt and take it with me wherever. You're not going to do that with this. I mean, this thing weighs more than the original NES. I'm not even kidding. By the time you get the batteries in there, the Game Boy, the game, the batteries for the Game Boy, yeah, that weighs more than an NES. If I had a scale, um, I don't know, but it's 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 a monster. Um, but set it on a tabletop, you know, it makes me think of those old, uh, which I had in the 80s as well, you had Donkey Kong, you know, the old arcade, little mini arcades. I'll have to find mine and do a video on it sometime. Um, but it's what makes me think of almost, right? It's shaped a little bit different uh, so it can support the Game Boy uh, in it. Um, it's pretty darn cool. Uh, did you have one of these? Did you want one of these? Are you looking for one of these? Let me know in the comments. Um, I probably won't keep this forever. I have just a little bit more money uh, tied up in it uh, than I like to sometimes have. Um, so at some future point, I'll probably part with it. But then there's that part of me that goes, well, gosh, if it's 200 bucks right now, what's it going to be in 10 years? Because I can, you know, I'm going to take care of it. It's going to be in the shape I got it in uh, 10 years from now. So I may hang on to it. I don't know. Haven't decided. It was super cool. Um, I just wanted you guys to, to get a chance to see it. So... Uh, anyway, I hope that you like this video. I hope you're uh, having a great day and continue to do so. Uh, and I hope that you're a subscriber to the channel. If not, you can rectify that real easy. Hit the subscribe button uh, and reach out to me. Let me know. Do you have a channel? Do you have content? Because um, I'd love to check that out and subscribe right back to you. Uh, I spend a lot of time on YouTube, so let me know. Um, take care of yourselves, and we will chat again soon. Thanks, as always, for watching.